Imagine society as a giant network, a vast web of connections that binds us all together. It's like a brain, but instead of neurons, it's made of people. Each person is a vital part of this intricate system. Each person is a point in this network. We are all connected, forming an intricate web of relationships and interactions. We each have unique qualities. These are our inputs, the attributes that define us and our roles in this network. Think of our education, our skills, our background. These elements shape our contributions and interactions within the network. All these things make us who we are. They influence our perspectives, our decisions and our paths in life. Now imagine societal systems as the connections between these points. These systems link us together, facilitating our interactions, education, healthcare, the job market. These are the hidden layers. They process our inputs, shaping our paths and opportunities. The output, that's where we end up. Our achievements, our careers, our places in society, our qualifications, our jobs, our place in the world. This network is complex and dynamic. It's always changing, evolving with time. But by understanding it, we can start to improve it. We can find ways to enhance our connections, optimize our systems and create a better society for everyone. Scientists love experiments. They thrive on the thrill of discovery, the process of testing hypotheses and the joy of uncovering new knowledge. It's in their nature to question, to probe and to seek answers. So let's treat society like one. Imagine if we could apply the same scientific rigor to understanding human behavior and societal trends. We can use a tool called a neural network. This advanced technology mimics the way our brains process information. It's a computer program that learns like a brain, adapting and evolving with each new piece of data it receives. We feed the network data about people. This includes a wide range of information from their educational background to their personal experiences. Things like their education, gender and even biases they face. All these factors contribute to the network's learning process. The network then learns to predict how qualified someone might become. It analyzes patterns and makes informed predictions. Think of it like predicting someone's success. By understanding the data, we can foresee potential outcomes, but instead of magic, we use data and algorithms. These tools help us make sense of complex societal dynamics. This helps us see how different societal systems, the hidden layers, impact people's lives. We can uncover the underlying mechanisms at play. We can then tweak these systems. By making adjustments, we can observe how changes affect outcomes. We can see what happens when we prioritize fairness. This allows us to create more equitable systems or when we focus on efficiency. Balancing these priorities can lead to optimal societal functioning. It's a powerful way to study society. By leveraging technology, we can gain deeper insights and drive meaningful change. Our experiment revealed something crucial. There's a trade-off between fairness and efficiency. Sometimes making things fair can slow things down. Imagine a system prioritizing fairness above all else. It might allocate resources evenly, regardless of individual merit. This sounds fair, right? But it could also mean that the most talented individuals don't reach their full potential. The system becomes less efficient. It's a delicate balance. We need to find a middle ground, a system that uplifts the disadvantaged, a system that rewards talent, a system that benefits everyone. Understanding these trade-offs is key. It's not just about making decisions, but about making informed decisions that consider all aspects of our society. We need to ask ourselves tough questions, questions that challenge our current systems and push us to think outside the box. What kind of society do we want? A society that values inclusivity, diversity and equal opportunities for all. How do we balance competing values? It's a delicate act of weighing different priorities and finding a middle ground. Machine learning can help us answer these questions. It provides us with tools to analyze vast amounts of data and uncover hidden patterns. It can help us design systems that are both fair and efficient, systems that can adapt and evolve with our changing needs. By using data and algorithms, we can optimize our societal systems. We can create smarter cities, better healthcare, and more efficient transportation. We can create a world where everyone has the opportunity to succeed. A world where education and innovation are accessible to all. This is the power of technology. It has the potential to transform our lives in ways we never imagined. 
It's not just about gadgets and gizmos, it's about harnessing technology to solve real-world problems and improve our quality of life. It's about using our knowledge to build a better future. A future where innovation drives progress and everyone benefits. A future where everyone has a chance to shine. Together we can build a better, brighter tomorrow.